Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you're new here, if you're not new, welcome back. I appreciate you coming back. If you, did I already say if you are new, subscribe? <laughs> what is happening? Oh Lord. If you are new, please subscribe, comment, like all that. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. That'll be down below in my link tree. And then also my commentary playlist, that like gigantic one that is just huge will be right up there. And then also linked up there will be my podcast channel too. So feel free to to follow the podcast, please do subscribe to it. Even if YouTube is not like where you listen to podcast episodes, I personally listen to podcast episodes on Spotify. We're over there too, Apple Podcasts, Google, Anchor, everywhere. But just so that we can, you know, grow more, feel free to subscribe to that podcast channel and then also rate and review on Apple Podcasts. I know I'm telling you like a lot of things to do right away. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm excited about it. So I would appreciate it if you did that. I hope you like my style today. This is, this is, this is me, like an oversized graphic tee. I got the big one. I'm not really sure why I got the huge one. And then jean shorts and big hair and bold lipstick. Like this is, this is me. It's either that or potato. All right, guys. So today we have a video to react to that is a training that is so culty. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into watching this video because like I said, it is a true dumpster fire. It's gross and I hate every single minute of it. It is 37 minutes long. So buckle up, get ready. This video is going to be a long one. I'm going to try not to, you know, rant and ramble and go crazy, but this shit's weird. So what we're watching is a opportunity call that is being led by Jesse Lee Ward. I'm Bossley. And then also the person who's like right under her, like one of the people who's like right under her, I guess. And it's like really, it's really culty. There's a lot of red flags. I need to get my red flag ready. Just flailing. I have whipped this thing around so hard. It's like tearing right there. Thank God. Thank God the person who sent me these sent me like 50 of them. So I have a bunch of them. Like I said, though, it is an opportunity call for Prove It, and it's a Zoom call that they're doing, but she, like, what we're watching the footage of is from Instagram, and it's it's weird because you're going to be able to hear the other person, but that we can't see them. You'll get it. It's, I mean, you probably won't get it. It's just very confusing, and it's really uncomfortable because Jesse Lee Ward looks like she's, like, giving us sex eyes the entire time. To call her, like I said, my friend, but also one of the best leaders on our team. So with no further ado, my good friend, you get to here now from Michigan, Wisconsin. Hey everyone, I love you, Jesse Lee. Um, so my name is, and I am coming in from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, for those that don't know me, or if you're like, okay, I don't know. First of all, I want to say, give yourself grace. You are here. Majority of the people would not even show up on a Zoom call or watch a replay if you weren't 2% interested in this opportunity. You are here for a reason and trust those reasons. This is why I'm telling you to trust because I had to put all of my trust into Jesse Lee. And I'm not trying to be emotional, but my story, I, yes, as Jesse Lee said, I was over 325 pounds. I was a single mom. I'm a single mom now. I was living in a basement at the time since my daughter was born. I was working two jobs and I literally was enough was enough. I couldn't walk up the stairs without being out of breath. So this is the sob story. It's just their rags to riches story. This is very much so what they do on these types of opportunity calls. It's just weird. And then I think maybe there's like a live chat or something going. Maybe that's why Jessie's looking over so much. But like there are so many times where she looks like right in like the lens of the phone or whatever device she is like recording from. I'm, I told y'all she's trying to hump me apparently because you're gonna get those vibes. I promise you. But also like I said, it's the rags to riches story. And it's just so weird because sure, yes, your your story is sad and you are valid and your experience is valid. But also... When, when I hear all that, I don't hear like, oh my gosh, like that's so inspiring. What I hear and what a lot of people hear who are on the other side of this is like, oh, that's really sad that someone took advantage of you when you were at that place in life. And that's really upsetting. I'm not trying to be like pressing or anything, but there's going to be a lot of those types of like red flags that we're going to go over in this video. And again, something I always want to reiterate is everyone in an MLM was at one point manipulated into it. 
And why were they manipulated into it? Because the person who recruited them was most likely recruited in that same manner. You're still, even if you know or if you are knowingly or unknowingly doing it, you're still guilty of doing it. Ignorance does not equal innocence. So sure, I'm I'm sure there's really nice people in MLMs. There are. I know of great people, you know, people who really are victims who are in MLMs. And isn't everyone a victim in an MLM? But that doesn't mean that you are exempt from being called out. As you can tell, I had an annoying comment the other day that was like, you're toxic. There are like really nice people that are in MLMs. <laughs> and this channel is one of the worst ones. Like, ugh. And I responded to it and I said, it sounds like you should stop being a little bitch. I couldn't bend over and tie my shoes without being out of breath. Um, if you know plus size clothing, clothing, I was like a torrid 24 which in normal jeans, that's like a 26, okay? I was not being the mom I wanted to be for Peyton. I didn't want to be the role model. I didn't want to be the excuse. I didn't want to be the mom can't afford it. I didn't want to be the mom can't fit on the ride. Mom can't go on this. Mom is too embarrassed to even take a picture with you. The moment I knew enough was enough when I literally did take a picture of me and my daughter and I made sure my head was cut out of it. Another part was other people were literally raising my daughter. Again, when I started, I had to put the very last I had on a credit card to join this business. Right now, you guys have the opportunity to get in for $1. I didn't. You have the opportunity to get in for 40% off. I didn't. When I swiped or when I typed in those numbers for that credit card, I did That doesn't make any sense. What? I didn't know where the next meal was going to be. I didn't know where gas money was going to be. I didn't know how rent was going to get paid. I didn't know how I was going to be able to afford everyone that had to watch my daughter. Other people were raising my daughter and that broke my heart. The oh, pain just took her first steps. You know, pain just pooped on the toilet. If you're a mom, that's a special moment, okay? Is her daughter's name Payne? Yikes. I mean, that's kind kind of a cool name, but also like, I think maybe she's saying Peyton and I'm just not hearing the um, enunciation. But also, did y'all notice how she said earlier, I lived in a basement and blah, blah, blah. It's like, does everyone on Jesse Lee's team live in a basement? Do they all live in basements? Is it the same basement? I have questions. Do I live in a basement? Very creepy. I get those moments. So now it's my, like, I promise to myself, I will never not have a first with her. Her first field trip, I will be there. This isn't me saying anything about her injections or her filler, whatever she's had done or her eyebrows, anything like that. It's her facial expressions is what I'm talking about. Just to be clear. What is she doing with her face? Like, she just like laughed and goes, <laughs> what are you doing? She looks like a goddamn fish. Facial expressions. Again, not shaming her actual face. Her first day of school. I don't have to call in. I literally almost had to miss a Christmas course when she was in kindergarten because I couldn't take the day off. Here you are in control. Here there are the systems. I never did something like this before. So think about this, guys. A single mom morbidly obese, living in a basement, why should I Why should I be successful? Why should anyone believe in me? Why would anyone believe in a product for fat loss when a girl weighs over 320 pounds? It's because of my belief and it's because of the systems that Jesse Lee has created. You don't need to know what you're doing. I was coachable, I was leadable, I was hungry, and I knew I needed Y'all, I don't know. You take you take him around. I'll pull, I'll put him on like a stick or something, and you just. Babe, you know we're not like girls on match up parties. Hi, I'm Julian. Yeah, but it's fun. Now it's creepy because we just have to have that in our house for the rest of the month. Oh my god! Yes, look at him. He's so good. Oh god, it's so good. I'm gonna have to include like this little bit in the video. That's so good. That's my brother. 
I, we got those fat head things for the bachelorette party weekend, but they didn't come in time. So now I just have big cutouts of my brother's head in my house. That's a red flag. <laughs> this is terrifying. Look at him back there. That's all right. He's just always going to watch over us. So yeah, th this is weird. Uh, the fact that she's saying like, why would anyone believe in me? And you don't have to know what you're doing. And we have the systems. Like how vague is that? You can just say you have the training. Weird. This to save not just my life, because whatever with my life, it was all up to my daughter. Point blank period. What life am I going to provide for my daughter? Am I going to raise her in this basement? Am I going to raise her showing her how to take change out of a cup to put in gas? Am I going to show her how to make lies because we can't go to stores, we can't go to birthday parties because I can't afford a birthday gift for her friends? I trusted and I believed and I did the systems. When you join, I first of all, I'm going to be the first one to say welcome. I'm sure Jesse Lee will be the first one to say welcome as well. We have literally step-by-step -step training and it's at your speed. So yes, if you are the single mom, the single dad that has to work two, two full-time jobs, you make this work with your schedule. Did I sleep a lot? No, I didn't. Does she look annoyed or does she look annoyed? It's also really sad because I feel like you can kind of see the type of people that they are targeting. Single parents, people who are not like overall not doing well, but more specifically single parents, people who are very desperate. And I don't mean that in like a like, ew, you're desperate. It's desperate, meaning the actual definition of the word. Like you want something so bad. You desire something so bad and you have something missing. Actually, Simply No Logical in her podcast, she actually said, made like a really good point about that. And she's said exactly what that's I literally just quoted her that she's like I'm not you know saying desperate in like a mean way it's just like desperate as in you desire something a way out of whether it's relationships or community or and with this specifically it's it's money and like your children and being overweight and that's one thing I can't stand about the MLMs that are like basically selling weight loss products or that really focus on that is that they're taking advantage of people who want to lose weight and who maybe are more insecure about their body or maybe don't have a healthy relationship with food and that's even more fucked up because i needed this to work because of this now i know i don't have to punch a clock i don't have to punch two clocks i get to wake up when i wake up i get to take my daughter to the school that she wants to go to with her friends i don't have to worry about the vehicle and the gas because i did earn a free luxury vehicle from this company which is one of the bonuses here so if you think that you can't, it's not free. Again, we all know this. Y'all get it. It's in your name. It's not free. Something f like, like if Tony is going to buy me a car, it's not going to be in my name. It's going to be in his name, but it's going to be my car and he's going to handle everything with it financially. That is a gift. Buying someone, is it, imagine if it, if it wasn't in, in an MLM, like if I'm going to say, hey, if you do these certain specific things every single month, I'm going to give you this set amount, $800, let's say, for this luxury car payment where sometimes that is not enough to cover it. I might give you part of the down payment. I might not. But either way, the down payment's not going to be enough to like make it to where like, most people know if you put more of a down payment, the monthly payments go down, right? But with luxury vehicles, yes, that still happens, but it's still so much. So loans in your name, it's going to fuck up your credit if you can't pay for it. Most of these people don't have good credit. A lot of people don't have good credit. Let's be honest. I mean, shit, I'm working on mine right now, but it's just, it's not fucking free. So like, that's not, it's, it's the gift of a financial responsibility or an obligation. Like that's not a, that's not a gift. That's a liability. Borrow our belief. Because I'm sure if you go back in messages, there's been so many times with Jesse Lee, I was like, there's no way I can do this. I can't do this. And she doesn't know this, but we went to California together and we went up this, this mountain and it triggered an old memory because long story short, this hike was supposed to be only two miles up and down, total of two miles. It was five miles one way. And she told me because she hasn't always been this size either. She's lost over 85 pounds herself. She told herself she would get on that treadmill and count to eight. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. How many times can you count to eight? Don't think 
about the end results, think about getting to eight. That's all it is, getting to eight. Who are you going to talk to? And I'm gonna tell you this right now, the people that you know are not gonna be your biggest supporters. My family are the strangers that I met on this team. My family, the people that I call to, the people that I cry on the phone with, she's on the screen right here. <laughs> it's terrible for me, everybody. I'm not trying to make her you know, cry or anything, but yes, I just went through <clears throat> a situation in my life. And guess what? It's not about the business. It's not about ketones. It's about this community. It's about having each other's backs. So if you are here because you don't have that family, we are your family. If you are on this opportunity call, you've never met either of us before, maybe you have, but like you don't have a relationship with us and you don't have a good support system around you. Guess what? Now we're your support system. Bitch, you what? That was quick. You're moving a little bit too fast. Let's pump the fucking brakes. It might seem like a no brainer. Okay. But I'm going to explain it anyways. So the thing is, is that the reason why a lot of MLMs and the culture and them, the reason why they will tell you, oh, we're your family, really, cults in general, and this is a commercial cult, let's be honest, the reason why they will ex try to take you away from your actual family and tell you things like, well, they are toxic. They don't believe in you. If they don't agree with this, it's because they don't want what's best for you. No, we want what's best for you. It's best for you to stay in. Why? Not because if you leave, I won't make as much money, but it's really important to understand that, that the reason they do that is to isolate you. It is a toxic relationship, right? So they are making it so that you are reliant on them, so that you are going to think that you are completely alone if you leave, that you aren't going to have anybody. And I promise you, you will have somebody. And sure, okay, even if you do actually have not that many friends outside of the MLM or before you even got in it, even if you don't have a great relationship with your family, there, everyone has one person that they could turn to. Maybe it's an internet friend. Shit, maybe it's me. Maybe it's a fellow subscriber. It's someone that you could turn to and be like, I really need to talk about this. I One thing that I can assure you of, because you might be thinking, oh, I pushed all these people away and like they want nothing to do with me. I completely ruined this relationship. The thing is, is that if you actually go to them and admit that and talk about it and be like, listen, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was manipulated and I'm, I'm so sorry. There is a 98% chance, one, that you'll fail in an MLM. And then two, that they will understand that they didn't want to lose you. And they've probably been waiting for you to say that. And let's be honest, that's probably why you cut them out of your life. <laughs> because they said that exact same thing to you was that this is not a good idea. This is a scam. You are being manipulated. Like it's, this is not good. So most people will not say, I told you so. And if they do, whatever, it's fine. But you need to get out. These people are not your family. These people only say all this shit to you because they are making money off of you. And because that's how they were manipulated into the MLM. And y'all might think I go too hard for this person specifically, but she wasn't manipulated into this MLM. She was fired from two previous MLMs and then came to this one and brought a bunch of people with her and she is continuously she's just she's like the final boss like in video games she's like Donkey Kong no he's not evil enough I don't know I don't know I don't know who's a good person to she's like Voldemort yeah there's a lot of people following Voldemort that like are are good and like really question shit like the Malfoys they got the fuck out of there sure did they suck but still and like there's other people who flip-flop not all those followers are bad they've just been manipulated there are people who are bad but not all of them but Voldemort's bad did I just fucking call her Voldemort I can't if you are here because you have to get yourself out of the basement we have the systems to get you out if you are here because you want the systems, you want the numbers, you want the charts, you want the Google Sheets, you need all of the numbers. Do they, is this what they look for? They just look for people in basements? I'm not joking that like this, it's hard for me to believe that this is not satire. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Do you live in a basement? <laughs> well, get ready because we're going to put you into more debt so that we can get out of the basement. Do you live in a basement? It's about to be full of ketones. You're about to sleep on a bed of ketone cartons. Guess what? We have those. If you want to be on a leaderboard, if you want your name 
known if you okay i'm gonna skip forward to eight minute okay so she just keeps going and it's obnoxious so we're just going to skip forward just a little bit it's literally life-changing not just for you not just for your children for your children's children's your children's 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 and your legacy so did she just say that you need to do this not only for you not only for your children, but your children's children's children or your great, great, great grandchildren. Is she thinking that recruiting people to buy ketones, because that's what you're basically doing. You're recruiting people to buy ketones. Is she thinking that that is going to give her generational wealth? Generational wealth of that caliber is that's that's in the bit like that's in the billions because family money when it comes to like multi-millions usually runs out at the third generation. She just listed like six generations so that like that's a that's a lot of money. Girl, <laughs> that's weird. That's suspicious. Like what are you talking about? Is she recruiting her grandchildren? I think she's probably recruiting her grandchildren. That is, uh, yikes, that is embarrassing. Hey, Jesse Lee. Why are you here? Can you tell us why? Apparently you're to cry in front of all of these people is why I'm here. So I'm I'm here to pull in the emotions. Um <clears throat> I was like, oh god, my voice is cracking. Oh no, my eyes are leaking. Here we go. Uh you got me with the with the buying of the She's not joking. She's she's only there one to control the conversation because she doesn't let anyone do opportunity calls or anything like that on their own. And if you do, you going to get exiled and she going to steal your downline. Um Allegedly, that is what has been alleged to me by many people that that has happened to. So yeah, um, also, yeah, she literally just said it. She's there to add the emotional, like the mo emotional hype of it. That person just talked her up so much and basically just said, yeah, Jesse Lee saved my life. She saved my daughter's life. Like all this, that girl's entire sob story. Jesse Lee got me out of a basement. She rescued me from a basement. Jesse Lee Ward, recruiting people into my cult and getting people out of basements since what, fucking 1984? I don't know how old she is. I think she's only like two years older than me. Gifts, that was the first time I teared up and then you had to bring up family. So okay whoo pull it together everyone How, i mean she's amazing right and it's hard to believe that we we have so much in common the two of us um i didn't mention it but my story started the same you know i needed 300 dollars a month to pay rent i was living in a basement uh, kayla was raised by her grandmother i was raised by my nana uh, we have so many similarities and i say all of that to say to all of you it doesn't really matter where you are coming from it matters where you want to go and my vision has always been clear where I want to go. And it shifts. You know, some of you on here, you're like, I would really like to make $100 a month. I would really like that $300 a month. Doesn't matter where you're coming from. It helps if you're currently in a basement. Um, it matters how big your dreams are and how desperate you are so that I can manipulate you into joining this and so that you can make me money. Also, you know what's hilarious is that she just said, you know, she was overweight and lived in a basement. I lived in a basement. I come from a broken family. She comes from a broken family. She's leaving out key details. And it's so insane how this person does this so frequently. For instance, if you go watch the video where me, um, Deanna and Isabella reacted to one of her training videos. If you go watch that video, she tells her story, her rags to riches story about how she got into multi-level marketing and how she, she is so dumb, how she was, you know, at a, like a pathology lab and was doing so well. And then I'm like, oh, Jesse Lee and her accolades. Yeah, well, one of the past employees who worked there told me that you were fucking annoying <laughs> and you were a research assistant and you were really fucking annoying. And that Jesse Lee told that employee that she was a bad mom for letting her kids do homework like at the kitchen table. It was weird. And that's obviously rude. So she said that she lived in a basement with no bathroom and she was renting the room and her landlord up to the rent randomly one month and she needed now it's $350 before I'm pretty sure it was like $200 and she's like oh I don't have any more money blah blah, blah. and the person her landlord told her to start at one of those at-home businesses which no they did not 
what she was omitting from that story, which is lying, lying by omission is still lying. The landlord was her mother. She lived in the basement of her mother's house. That completely changes like the entire story, basically. It's absolutely, absolutely insane. So crazy. <sighs> Anyways, what do we expect though? Do we expect this person to be honest? No. You said, I'd really like $500 a month. It shifted for both of us. For me, I started needing $300 and when I made $300 a month, I went, oh my God, maybe I could make 500. Then I made 500 and I went, oh, maybe I can make a thousand. And I went, whoa, I made a thousand. Okay, let me see what happens if I work, I plug into systems, I train, can I make 2000? And of course it kept shifting and growing. We were in Napa Valley on that hike, by the way, it was a very expensive trip and it was very fun and to be able to do it with time freedom and not worry about childcare and all of these things it was incredible so first i'll talk about these ketones for a second i guess that's fourth i'll talk about as a ketone so what do we do what the heck are we doing how child care bitch you don't have kids but the people that you're targeting right now probably are single parents it, they're probably single moms and that's why she just said that I mean, you ha she, has, she has dogs, and I know she loves her dogs a lot, so maybe maybe that's what she's referring to, but you can just put your dog, like, you can just board your dog. You can't, you can't stick your kids in a cage at the vet or at the doctor's office. Anyways, this shit is so dumb. Also, notice that she did not say, with free time, she said time freedom. They never say free time. They say time freedom. This woman does not have free time. You know who has free time? This, this girl. This girl has free time. So I took off Monday. I worked on Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Today's Thursday. I took off yesterday. I've worked two days now this week. And I only worked a half day on Tuesday and a half day today because Tony was off yesterday and today and he's working all weekend. And so I know I can work for a majority of the weekend while he's working. And that is free time that is time freedom i've gotten more sponsorships in the month of september so, or like sponsorships payments coming through because i had more sponsorships in august so like i know that i don't have to like really rush and like try to put up a billion videos and that's fine i should have because i would have loved to make more money but i needed to relax like i i need that for myself this this person can't do that no she cannot my phone is usually on airplane mode I have specific times during the day where if I want to, I will go through and answer DMs, which I do. Y'all know I love answering DMs and comments. I need to put this down. <laughs> like flinging it all over. That is actual free time. They don't, they don't know what time freedom is. They don't know what free time is. This bitch was at a fucking retreat. She was at a retreat, like a wellness retreat, a spa where you like get in touch with yourself and nature and get massages every day, like that type of shit that I would love to do but not yet. I think we're going to do that in the spring. But she did something like that and she was on Instagram all day, like all day, every day. It was so weird. So weird. That's not time freedom. That's not free time. You bet your ass my phone would be on like airplane mode most of the day if I was at a wellness retreat. First, I'll talk about these ketones for a second. I guess that's fourth I'll talk about as a ketone. So what do we do? What the heck are we doing? How are we, like she mentioned, you know, there's a there's a, an opportunity for you to earn a car bonus. She gets $800 a month. I get $1,300 a month. We earn these car bonuses, right? How? You're selling pure therapeutic ketones. This product, we are the only pure therapeutic ketones on planet Earth. All that means is, fancy way to say, your body thinks that it made the ketones you're drinking. Okay. That is not true. That is absolutely not fucking true. If that were true, with the amount of ketone products that she drinks every day, that's like basically all this person drinks, she would have no fat on her body at all. No fat on her body at all. And guess what? She does. Like <laughs> she's been in this MLM for what, two years now? She would have no fat on her body at all. And she does. So clearly it doesn't fucking work. It, it doesn't. Also, that's there's scientific evidence that it does not, that that does not work. And they can say all day long, oh, well, there's like, we do like the ketone test. We like pee on the whatever. That's just you peeing out a supplement, my guy. No, it's so dumb. So you're in ketosis in an hour or less. 
The flavors are freaking delicious. Okay, what's your favorite right now? Actually, everyone in the chat, you can you can throw it in there. Uh, what's your favorite currently? This morning, my favorite was snow cone, but I'm still a hibiscus lemonade aficionado. What's your favorite? So right now, I'm back on the, the Mexican kick. Oh, I mean, I never left the Mexican ketone kick. Okay, okay. But I don't live in Mexico, unfortunately, so I can't get it all the time, all right? Um, I did hear, if anyone on here is from Mexico, there might be something special coming tomorrow for Mexican Independence Day, but I digress. Uh, I'll try to keep this timely, right, since there will be people watching a replay. But uh, at any rate, the product puts you in ketosis in an hour or less. The benefits are fat loss, like we both discussed. Um, muscle preservation, so you don't have to be watching this or drink ketones for fat loss, okay? Better sleep, better skin, better mood, better focus, better energy, and better digestion. Did she just say you don't have to be watching this for, for muscle pre What? If you ask me why I drink ketones now after four years, after four years, I drink ketones every day. I've never missed a day. Focus. Focus. Okay, some people go, why do you drink so many or how many do you have? I'm like, it depends. Depends on what my, my workload looks like that day. It depends on how busy I am. It depends on a lot. I need focus. I lack focus focus. Um, if you've taken them before, feel free to drop your favorite benefits in the chats. And the other thing I'll say is if you've yet to try them and you're on this call, no matter what, please get back to whoever invited you and ask for trial pricing. Just shoot them a DM. Hey, can you tell me what the pricing is for a trial? Hey, can I try 10 days? Hey, right. Ask us for trial pricing. Trust me. It almost like creates a new equilibrium for you. I know a lot of you have probably thrown the book at your your health and wellness journey you've tried all like you've tried all the stuff right kayla literally you name it i've done it and yeah. nothing has worked and i've gained all the weight back plus some right i think this is very common and i say that because uh the appetite suppression with ketones it is your weapon against fat loss it is your weapon the best way to drink them i'll just say this if you want good results Drink the ketones when you wake up. Just don't eat till you're hungry. So, um, that's the ketones. You can start with the trial. You can also buy entire boxes. I just, this is bullshit. I don't like it. I can't stand when people are like, yeah, intermittent fasting. But they leave out the part of where with intermittent fasting, you're fasting for a certain amount of time. And then for like a four hour period, you are eating enough and enough calories and stuff and enough fats and enough everything. But this is just starving yourself. This is this is different. This is different. Different, as she said in one of her videos. It's different and sponsor. Okay, listen, this is not me body shaming. This is not me doing any of that. Okay. And y'all know I fucking love jean shorts. That is my shit. I definitely take after my mother. I wore an outfit yesterday. <laughs> Y'all saw on Instagram, it was like the, like a, kind of like a peasant shirt, but not really a white shirt and out on jean shorts with my, um, a belt and like van, not vans, uh, Tom's looks so cute. Tony messaged me and he goes, you look like your mom. And I was like, oh fuck. That's like all my mom wears. My mom wears like shirts like this and jean shorts. And I am, I'm Linda. Call me Linda. It's fine. Listen, Linda. But I, like I said, I love short ass jean shorts. Shh. <laughs> The jean shorts she wears are so short. It's like, girl, can you please like put the camera up or closer to you? Because all I see is it just looks like she's wearing like a jean diaper. And I don't know why a lot of them do this. It's like, am I supposed to be just looking at your crotch? What's happening? And like, even these are long. Like these, these are, these are longer. Cause these, that's this, that's like the style of these. They're supposed to be like mom shorts, like mom jeans, but mom shorts. They're really cute though. So I had to get them, but like, come on. These are, these are adorable. Hello. However, when I sit down, um, I, I kind of am as well wearing a jean diaper and I, I got, got a little, and also, yeah, my tits look huge. So just shut up. But like, I got a little, a little jean diaper fupa happening here. Everyone does when you wear fucking high-waisted anything. Okay. However, I'm not just back here. Like, Hey guys, let me talk to you. Like, like, we don't need to see your jean diaper fupa crotch. Like, girl, I, no, no one wants to see that of mine either. I'm not trying to be like, oh my God, hide it. Like, whatever. But it's like, girl, I can't stop staring at your crotch. Maybe I want to hump her. I don't know. She would not like it though, because I don't think she likes us gays. She doesn't like us. It's fine. I know there's going to be some people in the comments who are like newer to my channel and they like don't know that I'm bi and they're gonna be like, oh my God, you're not gay. You have a husband. You're not bi, you have a husband. 
Yeah, well, go fuck yourself. I'm just kidding. I love you. Thank for thank you for being here. Okay. Oh my god, Chelsea, shut up. <laughs> Do y'all ever just hear yourself talk and you're like, uh, shut up? <laughs> because same and always. <laughs> because that is me and hi. I wish I was. Hi. What is as well? I'm gonna take a drink, say something. Um, talk about the systems. Why don't you talk about the systems? So once you join and you're part of our team, our family. Again, welcome, welcome, welcome. We do have an entire onboarding system. And like I said, it's up to your pace. And we know if you've done it or not because we have different passwords as you go. But like we were saying, right now it is $1 to join. And the kit is 40% off, which is over $520 in savings. So when I started, I had to use the very last I had on a credit card. So like if this, if you're watching this right now, like that is a blessing on its own. But what you are going to do with that kit, we are going to show you how to create trials from it. And guess what? When you sell, I think it's either seven or eight, 10 day challenges or 10 day, seven or eight, 10 pack trials, you'll get your full investment back. And then you have more than. I don't know what y'all look like when you're drunk, but I'm not gonna lie. When I'm when I'm drunk, I kind of look like what she, like the eyes she's making right now. Like you know when you're drunk and you just like, you just like think you just think you are the hottest shit, and you're just like, you know, it's either that or I'm like balls deep in a hot pocket. So not I should have said elbow deep because it sounds like I'm like having sex with hot pockets, aren't we all? But. I don't know. I think, is she, I, I don't, I don't know if she drinks. No, she does because I saw a Instagram live of her at a concert drunk as fuck. And it was, ugh, it was gross. And then your bonuses are doubled for 40% off. And we're showing you what you can do with this trial so you can drink the product for free. Like if that it sounds good to you, like drop yes in the comments. But outside of that, there are two other bonuses within your first 30 day of business. The faces she's making, it's like, <laughs> I don't know if y'all, <laughs> I don't know if y'all ever experienced this, but it's like when you're on, I'm, as I'm fucking wearing a dare shirt, but when you're, when you're high, I mean, like from weed or edibles or whatever, and you just all of a sudden become super aware of your tongue <laughs> and you're like, You know, it's like when a baby first knows they have a tongue or like when they first find their feet and they're like, oh my God, there they are. And like constantly touching them. Did she forget she has a tongue? Your first 30 day of business, which is our GoPro and Go MVP bonus. I won't get into the details, but basically in your first 14 days, you can earn a $250 cash bonus and $100 in free. This is so weird. This is so weird. And I am in no way, for legal purposes, I am not saying that she, or accusing her of using substances or any, bitch, am I using substance? I'm sober. Substances. Also, by the way, the can that I had before that was an energy drink. And then most of you know, but I didn't know at first when I saw YouTubers drinking this or people in general. I always thought this was beer, but it's not. It's just water, which I think is super cool. And it tastes like water because it's fucking water, Chelsea. But it's just like really satisfying drinking water from a can. I don't know. Again, like I said, for legal purposes and just to like not be a dick, I'm not accusing her of being on drugs or anything. I'm just saying the way that she's acting and like the fact that Laura are really just like watching her and like seeing her facial expressions, like she's laughing and then she's like, it's like, what are you, are you powering down? What are you doing? Like close your mouth. Product. And then in your first 30 days, you can earn another $500 in cash bonus and another $100 in free products earned. So if you hit both of them, that's $750 in a cash, cash. It it kind of looks like she's like sleeping with her eyes open. And then like she'll start like, like she wakes up and starts laughing. <laughs> cash <laughs> bonus that gets paid out with you on top of your commissions. And guess what? Guys, again, it's about belief. 
when I started, and I'm going to be transparent about it. When I started, I missed GoPro and I missed my original MVP. If I would have based my success off of if I hit. Is she giving y'all buy me a drink vibes and let's go make out in the bathroom? Because that's the vibes I'm getting. Like, what are you, girl? <laughs> Calm down. I don't know you. If these bonuses are not I'm going to make in this company. I would most likely still be living in that basement probably 400 pounds by now. I don't know if I can legally say this, but my first check was nothing. My second check was $12.14. I knew this system worked. I just had to give it time, but I never lost faith and I never lost belief and I never lost the trust that I had with Jesse. So then how much was your third check? And yeah, you can't say that because that's an income claim. Even if it's a super little amount, you're not allowed to do that in MLMs. But like, th th this makes no sense. <laughs> like, why Why are you just talking about your first two? You notice how she just ke didn't keep going. It probably would have looked bad if she would have kept going and been like, and my third check was $20. My 18th check was $30. Like, she stopped right there for a reason you were so whoever your mentor is you're aligned with them for a reason we are all a part of the same team so don't judge where you are in your first 15 days in your first 30 days in your first 90 days so <laughs> we're all under jesse lee all hail i'm boss lee Y'all see how they put her up on a pedestal? It's so fucking weird. Weird. You are in your first 15 days, in your first 30 days, in your first 90 days. Because again, this took me three years. Three years might sound like a lot, but three years goes fast. Three years doesn't sound like a lot to anybody though. Because a lot of people will go to college for four years to get into a job entry level that they don't even like to have $100,000 in debt. So I don't think three years is a lot for anybody. I just think they need to shift their perspective in it. Now I have a quote, well, I have a, I have a statement by the way. Okay, so a couple of things. Uh, the two packs, I saw a couple of things in the chat, like hold on a minute, so what are they? The top pack is $780, that's 40% off. That's the one that doubles all your bonuses, okay? The, the lower kit, the mini pack, is four ninety seven. It's only 22% off. So regardless of the fact that you get way more with, with the 780, it's a huge difference in the amount of profitability you can have. So if you can swing that, do it, okay? But I will tell you, for me, like, this is, this is something where a lot of people will hear something like this, okay? They'll hear opportunities like that, like, oh, they're systems! Oh, well, you're going to do great. You're going to save trials, sell trials. You're going to be so good. And people get caught up in the woo. And some of you listening might have what I call, and you know this because I've had this conversation with you before, Kayla. I'm like, some of you listening have network marketing PTSD. I know you do. You've tried a couple of things or maybe a lot of things or maybe one thing. And everything was like, Regret after regret after regret because people would razzle dazzle you. You'd hear a call like this, you know, you'd share a call like this, and people are telling you all these great things. And well, of course, they put these two big leaders up on the call, and da 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 da, whatever. Like, guys, my shirt has stains. I mean, like, I'm somebody said on the last call, they're like, it's the most humble millionaire. Like, I don't even know. Is it does bleach turn stuff black? I don't know, but it did. I don't know, whatever. Like, guys, I just pff, look, yes. Bitch, just because you got poor hygiene doesn't mean you're a humble millionaire. You're not humble. You're dirty. Steve Jobs also allegedly smelled disgusting. And then there's also Keith Rainier, who made a lot of money running a multi-level marketing company that was a self-help cult and turned out to be a sex cult. So he also smelled like shit and had a lot of money. <laughs> Being dirty doesn't mean you're humble. Gross. Like, what are you doing? And saying that, like, oh, you have 
PTSD from other MLMs. Someone even asked her, what did you think about the LuLaRoe or Lula Rich documentary on Amazon? And she's like, no, I heard about it, but I know that LuLaRoe was bad because of the amount of people I've recruited from that company who have told me that I've saved their life. Bitch, it's the same thing. There might be different products. There might be different names of whatever title you have. And the compensation plan might be a bit different here and there. You might have to have inventory. You might not. However, you still have to recruit people. And it's still a commercial cult. It Like, it's the same. And that's one thing that I will talk about in my review, I guess, of the Lula Rich documentary because it people, ugh, ugh, it's really frustrating. I'll save my my thoughts for that. But what does you being a humble millionaire, I, she just wanted to fucking mention that she is rich. That's it. Ugh, yeah, you're wealthy. How much money are you spending to keep up this facade, to be able to recruit more people? You're not humble. People who are humble don't try to combat objections by taking a TikTok or a Reels and being like, oh, sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of my exhaust and moving over so that they can see the Lamborghini logo. That's not humble. That's tacky. Look, yes, we're normal. And yes, we're successful. Let me tell you something. When I say there are systems, some of you are watching here and you're like, I have no following. How, come on, like, who am I going to sell trials to? Am I going to go door knocking? Well, you could be like Brooke Porch, who literally walked the trials up to people at her work and said, hey, I heard you say you want these trials. I brought you one. And she'd sell the nurses. And you will get fired, most likely, from whatever job you're at, because almost every employer has rules saying that you can't solicit to your coworkers. And if someone reports you to HR, you will most likely be fired for that. And they should report you to HR because when I go to a job, I shouldn't have to worry about someone selling me something that I don't want. Listen, Girl Scout cookies is different, okay? <laughs> That's different. Everyone wants those, okay? And usually someone would just like send an email and like put it on a table and be like, here, if you want to sign up, go for it. That's different. I would kill for a thin mint right now trials and then they all love the ketones okay you could be like that i am not nearly as personable and lovely as brooke um kayla was probably shoving them down people's throats kayla's a little on the aggressive side i am more of the crier i'm more of the emotional type uh much more of the introvert than, than the two of them uh, i'm much more of an emotional manipulator yeah um also the fact that she's like i don't have a following blah 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 girl have your <laughs> Maybe not half, but a good amount of your following is fake. Like, yes, it's real people, but is that, are they actually trying to follow you or are they just trying, like, if you're getting all of your following or a huge majority of it from giveaways, whether you're hosting them or you are participating in one, that's not a genuine following. So, yeah. Um, and I'll tell you, I didn't have a following. So, so what do we, what, what, what about the people who have no following on social media? Like, is there a system for that? Who are they going to sell these things to? You already said you're not going to sell it to your, to your friends. You already said you're not going to sell it to your family. Who are they going to sell it to? Like, how does that work? So that's also part of the training. And here's another thing, guys. And if you're already on the team, let them know in the chat. You are never alone here. We have a saying in the empire, that's what our team is called. The sun never sets on the empire. What does that mean? We are a global team. I believe it, we are in over 28 different countries right now. If you are a night Ew. owl, guess what? There is night owls out there. If you are a morning bird, there's people out there getting the worms with you. Okay, no matter what it is, no matter what time you decide to plug in, Someone is always awake and someone is always there to answer your questions. So like literally the sun never sets. There is someone that's always there. You are plugged in to chats with your team members. Again, you are never alone. Okay, but the way they're talking about it and they're like, the sun never sets on this. Why does it sound like some like 
dynasty fucking North Korea shit. Like, what are y'all doing? What in the communism is happening here? We show you how to use, if you're going to use Facebook, how to use the groups, how to go live, how to make a post. We show you on Instagram how to use hashtags. How to Also, <laughs> Jesse Lee gets her, like, her Facebook gets taken down all the time. So it's really funny that they're like, we tell you how to do this. We tell you how to do that. And it's like, girl, her Facebook is constantly being disabled. Like she's constantly being put in Zuckerberg timeout. Use reels. We literally teach you these. If you've never done a TikTok, we'll show you how to use a TikTok. We'll show you how to do wet, do the music videos. I'm still learning TikTok. All right, guys. And I already know the moment I said a live, some of you guys were like, nope. I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing a live. I'm never going to do a live. First of all, my first live is atrocious. Your first live, I'm going to let you know, is your worst live. But here's the thing. Guess what? If you're like, no, Kayla, like I seriously am diagnosed like anti-Facebook live. This is something I learned. And I love this saying. I live in Wisconsin. If I want to get to Mexico, I can take a plane I can take a train, I can drive there, or I can walk. If I walk there, it's gonna be a while. If I take a train, it's gonna be a little quicker. But if I get on that plane and I keep on getting on that plane, which are your lives, you're gonna get to Mexico. You're gonna hit the goal you want faster and easier more comfortable you can get first class if you want whatever you want to do why do they put so much emphasis on facebook lives who the fuck uses facebook also though the thing is is that it's funny that they're like you don't have to sell to your family or your friends who are you friends with on facebook your family and friends who then would be watching those facebook lives probably no one because that's embarrassing. No one wants to watch those. Like I said, that's embarrassing. Um, also having like your just, I don't know, it's just, it's so cringy. It's so, 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 so cringy. I mean, y'all have seen the Facebook lives and Instagram lives and all the lives that this person does. They are so cringy. And she's like, oh, you know, just packing trials, just sending them out. How much money does she spend on those trials? How much money does she spend sending out trials to people? How much of that product is expired? Gross, right? I know. How much of that is she snorting? For legal purposes, that's a joke. You know, visualize it. But like, how are you going to get from A to B? And that honestly depends on how much time and effort you want to do. Another thing... Oh, I, Brie Nichols, I'm shouting you out. She said great things. It's how many people you recruit. That's it. It's, it's just how many people you recruit. And sure, you might have to be on social media constantly to do that. But then when do you get the time freedom? When do you get all the shit that they talk about constantly? When are you able to be with your kids? Yeah, you might be not at an office or at a desk or something. And you might be able to be at your kids' rehearsal or recital i don't know what the fuck do kids do i was there once right you might be able to be there physically but are you there emotionally and mentally are you actually there no you're not you're on your phone the entire time and jesse lee's screaming at you if you're not things are not easy things that last don't happen overnight hey if you're on here and you got like a million tiktok followers like we will show you how to use them. If you're on here and you have one Facebook friend, I was gonna say his name is Tom, but that's my Must space. Be. It's not necessarily true. Like, yeah, great things. I mean, you have to put effort into them, but it could be easy. Like, I mean, my YouTube channel, it took fucking time and it takes a lot of goddamn work, but I enjoy it. And like mentally and like what you have to do, like, yeah, it's, it's very, very time consuming, but it is like easy work right so I don't know that's just really frustrating that they say that and things that last don't happen overnight they 
can. They definitely can. People going viral. And if they're able to like keep that up, then yeah, that that can happen. Like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? It's so dumb. If you got time on Facebook, tell them, tell them we miss them. We'll show you how to turn your one into 100, into 1,000, and to create your following. So what would you say? Okay, well, two things. I want to know what is your favorite thing about the empire? If you have one friend and only one friend, we will teach you how to exploit that relationship and then continue to exploit all these other relationships so that we can make money off of you, so that we can stay out of basements. Bippity boppity bullshit. And to create your following. So what would you say? Okay, well, two things. I want to know what is your favorite thing about the empire? And yeah, start there. What is your favorite thing about the empire? Rapid fire. Family. Oh, I love it. Okay, uh, another rapid fire question. What would you say to the people who hate network- Family. This is a goddamn cult. People who hate network marketing. No you cussing, know. don't cuss. I don't cuss. You, you do cuss, but don't cuss about that. <laughs> you weren't on a team that supported you, loved you, or had the systems. I love that. Okay, um, what would you say to somebody who is scared? What would you say to people who hate network marketing? You weren't on a team that supported you, whatever she said, loved you, or had the systems. That's not accurate for most of the people who hate network marketing. A lot of people who hate network marketing have never been on a team. For instance, I have never really been on a team. I joined three MLMs and quit all of them within 72 hours of joining each of them. And this was over the course of like five years. So that so that's that's not a good objection. I mean, anything they say wouldn't be good because they're they are not intelligent at all. But this this is not different. This is not different. This is just worse. I love that. Okay. Um, what would you say to somebody who is scared? Uh, follow the vomits and what if you fly? Woo! <laughs> okay. Um did she just say follow the vomits? Ew. Gross. I'm assuming she means follow, like, like do what scares you. Like, do what, like, you want it so bad and you're so scared that, like, you're going to throw up. Don't make yourself that uncomfortable if you don't want to. Like, yes, if you know something is going to be good for you, of course, go. It's fine that you're, you know, nervous. But <laughs> putting yourself in that situation so much is not healthy. That's not good for you. Don't don't do that. Stop. Stop that, please. What have I done to this? Like that's so that's so sad. Don't please stop doing that. Don't do that. And then when she says, "What if you fly?" Like they have like merch that says this and it's so cringy because the quote is, well, "What if I fall?" And then it and then it continues, "My darling, what if you fly?" Of course, I don't have to like even break that down for y'all, but meaning like, okay, well, what if I fail? But what if you don't? What if it's the best thing that's ever happened to you? Obviously, that is not in regards to joining a scam and a commercial cult. However, I like to imagine that Jesse Lee Ward is like Icarus. Well, what if you fly? And then you're flying and then you're fucking getting too close to the sun and your fucking glue on your feathers is melting and then you fall to your death. That is a more accurate representation of Jesse Lee Ward saying to you, well, what if you fly? It's deadly. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, uh, mm, uh, okay. What if you're introverted? Hi. <laughs> Good Hi. answer. She said, what if you're introverted? And the person said, hi, meaning she's introverted too. So you're just going to be pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, making yourself feel uncomfortable constantly and putting on like this fake persona. Okay. Um, what, what free car do you drive? Uh, a GL, a GLE. You don't drive a free car. So the answer is none. E350 Mercedes Benz. And what's your next goal? Um, well, next goal is rank eight and then to get the Tesla Ursula. Okay. Or the Tesla, not Ursula. Ursula? Like the little mermaid? Yeah, like the little mermaid. 
We have a mermaid on the team, too, so we also recruit extraterrestrial creatures. Or whatever. Yes. Magical creatures? What is she? Anyway. <laughs> She's magic. She's got fish flops. I know. I love it. Did she just say that a mermaid is an extraterrestrial creature? And then a magical creature? The word you're looking for is mythical, you uneducated gremlin. Ooh, doesn't American Horror Story, what is it, Death Valley? Doesn't that start tonight? Ooh, spooky. I'm excited. I'm so excited. What are the core values of our team? Excellence, execution, and empathy. So, uh, let's see. Um, do you guys like this? I'm putting all this pressure on her. <laughs> yeah, why is she, like, testing this person? This person's supposed to be leading the call with her. And now she, it's like a fucking pop quiz. Excellence. Empathy. What was the other one? Notice how ethics <laughs> wasn't one of the core values. And it ain't gonna be because she is a garbage human. I'm sweating now. I know. I like making you sweaty. You guys, this is more fun, right? We're just almost going to hammer her. We're going to hammer her. Okay. And um, what is something that you know is possible now because you said yes, even though all these people told you to say no? Um, again, not to be emotional, but how much power you honestly have in you. Um. I was in a I was in a domestic violent relationship for three years, and I had everything I had taken away from me. Um, this this is home. You find your power. You get to take back that power, no matter how you were raised. Again, grandma, nana, no matter how it is, um, you are you. You don't have to be anyone else. You get to be your truest self. You get to find your joy. You get to find your happiness. You get to take back all control that was ever taken away from you at any point in your life. And you and you also get to release any baggage that has ever been holding you back. So that's more than one, but. What? How? 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 How does an MLM do that? That makes no sense. How does selling ketones and drinking ketones and recruiting people and doing your systems, how does it do all that? It doesn't do that. And there there definitely are jobs that can, you know, help you with your confidence. There are jobs that and positions and work that you can do that can help you, you know, become a better person and really understand like, you know what? F this. Like that's not what I'm going to do. Blah 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 like it. There are there definitely are. However, this ain't it. And this is pissing me off because I, and I'm not saying that this person was not in a toxic relationship. I'm not questioning that she is a survivor of domestic violence. I am as well. Notice how I didn't say a victim. I said a survivor because you are not a victim. You are a goddamn survivor. And I'm so happy this girl got out and that her life is better now. That's wonderful. However, she has, and this is from her own, this is what she just said and what she said this whole call. She owes everything to this MLM. Not only to the MLM, but to this team. Not only to the team, to Jesse Lee Ward. That is so dangerous. That is a cult. Have your job. Just be your job. You can make friends there. I have friends that I, you know, met at work. My brother... Look at his dumb face. <laughs> this turd met his about-to-be wife, which I think it's so cute that a bunch of y'all call me out and you're like, we love that instead of saying my brother's wedding, you say my sister-in-law's wedding. I feel like that. I told her that and she goes, oh my God, that means you love me. I was like, bitch, of course, like, of course I love you. She knows she's my best friend. She's amazing. Love her so much. Taylor is my best friend. And my sister, I'm the best sister anyone could ever ask for. She's just the fucking best person in the world and I love her so much. And I've met amazing people through her as well, like one of her best friends, who was now like one of my best friends, Taylor Brown. I know you're watching this, and I love you, and thank you for being so supportive. I call her strange cousin because she's just like kind of always there, but you don't question it. Like if I walked out right now into my living room and she was just sitting on my couch, I'd be like, this makes sense. That sounds weird saying wife. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. <laughs> you go have a wife. 
because he met her at work. You can meet amazing people at work, but there's a fine line between my entire life is wrapped up. Every single thing that I have, I owe to this employer or this job or this one organization. And that is toxic. It's just like a toxic relationship. And it's so sad that it sounds like this girl went from one abusive and toxic relationship to another. And that happens all too often in MLMs. And it's so, so, so sad. It's just like when people hop from one abusive relationship to another one, one addiction to another one. It's called cross addiction. Powerful. And uh, I want to tell you before I ask you the last question, I'm very proud of you. It's been amazing watching you grow over the last couple of years. Uh, we'll shrink, but grow as a person. <laughs> You're an incredible mom. You're an incredible leader. And I'm really excited to see you really, really fly. Um, my last question is for the people who are uh, on here and they're like, oh my gosh, like I didn't realize this was so good. Like I'm, I'm in. What do they need to do? So one, if you are watching the replay, drop the word 40 in the comments. If you're watching us live, connect with whoever added you to here. You got this link from somebody, connect with them. Okay, that deal is not going to last. If you have to get in with the max, the mini, or whatever you have to invest to get started, as long as you have the faith and belief, and again, if you don't have it yet, that is what we're here for. We will guide you. We will walk arm in arm with you. And we will make sure as long as you are in, we are in with you. I love it. So powerful. So get back to whoever invited you on here. I see a couple questions. If you want to drop them in the chat, I'll just rapid fire answer them really quickly. And then we're going to start our Latino training. Um, I saw somebody ask if there are quotas. There are no quotas on uh in our company each month you do not ever need to purchase so again that's a typical like anti-network marketing thing they'll say oh you have to buy all this stuff no you absolutely do not there are no purchases necessary at all you will always get paid off of that i see that as a question um i saw a question when we were talking about the product somebody was saying oh uh do i need to be keto in order to be part of this absolutely not uh, most of us do not do that um who is the co-founder we have three founders terry lacour brian underwood and chris harding um our ceo CEO is Brian Underwood. Nice question. Where are the products made? They are made here in America, uh, in Van Alstine, Texas. About fifteen, uh, about fifteen minutes from where I am right now. Are ketones safe for pregnancy and any kind of medical thing? Feel free to talk to your doctor, talk to your midwife. I don't want to make any kind of medical claims. And we are in no rush for you to drink ketones. We are not going anywhere. So feel free to take your time. Talk to your medical professionals. I'm super, super excited for you. Um, where do I get started? Get back to whoever it is. And uh, if you're lost at any point in time, I would assume you did not join our team uh, because our team is literally hand-holding you through onboarding systems. I am really blessed to be known as the systems queen. I just called it today by him. The systems queen in all of network marketing by Eric Worre. Um, If you do Betty the Bot, you will succeed. Do Betty the Bot over and 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 over again. So um, super, super exciting for that. Um, do, oh, have you seen someone pre-sell enough challenges to get the max kit? Absolutely. Um, many of the people are on, in this chat right now talking had literally no money. I mentioned the Brooke thing when I said she would go to work and she'd basically f force trials at people. It's kind of a joke. She didn't force anything on anybody. But many people have pre-sold stuff. I can't teach you how to do it. That is not my style. My style was I'm broke, I'm in a basement, and I opened a credit card. Uh, I was totally totally impatient. I wasn't going to wait even five days for that. Um, so let's see. Yes. Systems. I just did Betty again, did Betty again, did Betty again, Betty, Betty, Betty. Yes. Betty the bot. If you're on our team, you'll hear Betty the bot all day long is what we do. Um, yes. You only need seven people to pre-sell the entire max. Holy smokes. Like you, I mean, I just never thought about it like that. Awesome. Well, I do not see any other questions. I'm really thankful all of you came on here and just to pull it full circle. Like Kayla said, you're here for a reason. You know, you're here for a reason. The systems are here. The scripts are here. The leadership is here. The family environment is here. The community you've been looking for is here. Something inside of you pulled you here, and I will tell you, we're really excited to see you fly. Um, I was the girl who was so unpopular. Y'all have no idea, okay? I ate alone K through 12, literally. And, uh... Here I am now, uh, we're kind of joking around, it's sort of funny, but I, I like the conversational manner and the chat's flying. But just today, um, we have a big giveaway going. You guys probably have seen it on social media somewhere. We're training our team how to market that as well. And uh, 
Somebody said, um, the most common prize wanted is autographed Jesse Lee swag. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I'm like, I told Brittany, I'm like, I don't know. It's very weird, okay? I was the nerdy kid that nobody liked. I was the band nerd. And y'all want blender bottles with Jesse Lee's signature on the side. Like, I need to... I need to, like, process that. And I'm not saying that needs to, like, be your goal or anything. That was certainly never my goal. But I do this for impact. I do this not at all for income. The money is absolutely inconsequential at this point. It's a legacy play. It's a legacy play. So uh, for those of you who are looking to change not only your life, but the lives of generations to come and the ripple effect, you have no idea who's watching you. You have no idea. Can I tell one more story? Oh my God, we're seven minutes over, but like I have to tell the story, okay? Some of you think I'm so unpopular. You think, I'm so not popular. I have no followers. Every time I post, it's crickets. Every time I whatever, nobody's watching. Oh my gosh. Well, we just had a company event a month ago. Some of you that are on here were there. And 18 months ago, I met Curtis Jackson. You might know him as 50 Cent, <laughs> okay? And I didn't like hang out with him, okay? I took a photo. He was at a cognac release here in, in Frisco, okay? And that was it. And 50 Cent walked on stage at our company event in front of thousands of people. And he said, this crowd is live because we got some energy. We drink ketones, okay? And the next words out of his mouth were, hey, is your top earner Jesse Lee here? I met her a few months back. Jesse Lee, are you here? I went. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, I went on my social, one of our doctors, because he's our doctor formulated, okay? One of our doctors is sitting next to me. He shoves me. He's like, stand up. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Curtis doesn't know who the fuck you are. And I just love that she's like, you know, Curtis Jackson, you might know him as this. Oh my God. Girl, you, you, <laughs> when celebrities go to these events, it's because they're paid to. It's not because they like you. No, like, no. You really think that f Mr. 50 Cent, Mr. Half Dollar himself, Mr. Candy Shop, remembered Jesse. Lee. No. It's just such it's just such bullshit. It's so funny that like she's just flexing. That's all she's doing. She's just flexing. And it's so dumb. And embarrassing, honestly. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, like the craze, like what in the world? And after he's done presenting, he's incredible, right? I go on my social media to find out if he watches me anywhere. He don't follow me anywhere. I think I would have noticed if Curtis, my friend Jackson, <laughs> it's a joke now, right? Was commenting on my stuff. But he was watching. So I, enough to not call me Jesse. Enough to know my name's Jesse Lee. Who's watching you? Who's waiting for you? to change your life. Who's waiting for you? If that did happen, they probably fucking paid him. That was probably part of the thing. You just said he was presenting. So he wasn't just there. He didn't just show up. He was paid to be there. It, it, was, it was an appearance. It was a paid appearance. And they are usually given like talking points. Yeah, he called you jesse lee and not just jesse because that's what they all call you if they just said jesse most of the people would be like who the fuck is that like what are you doing that's like most of y'all don't call me chelsea you call me cc and that's why when i see you in person and you're like cc and i'm like who <laughs> me because i don't go i no one calls me that except for y'all 
like and then people from uh, when I was in treatment because there were two Chelsea's and so went by CC and CB by our initials but back then initials now obviously it's CCS but yeah like that's how you are identifiable like the uh, the audacity the audacity of this human Ugh. it's like like I said at the beginning it's leaving out it's omitting those little key things here and there. He doesn't listen to your podcast. He doesn't know who the fuck you are. You're a nobody. And you're manipulating all these people and using someone else and using their following or their credibility, their fame to try to make yourself seem more important and to keep the facade going. And it's a lie. And it's really unfortunate that people do fall for this. But that is why I am here to pull back the curtain, the stained, stinky curtain, to reveal the lying, garbage eating gremlin behind the curtain. There is no wizard, there is no magic. It's just lies and deception just to get money from you. Because the same thing was done to them, except for this person. She's just gross. Who's waiting for you to change your life? Who's waiting for you to be the weirdo that steps out from generational curses and says no more and gives them to cur the courage to follow along? Because a ripple effect starts with one. With one. I was the ripple effect for this team. I was the one who said, really scared, by the way, really scared and really nervous. I was the one who said, okay, we're going to do this. I don't know how. I don't know. Bitch, what do you mean you don't know how? You were a, a top performer in two MLMs previously before you got fired from both of them. What? What? What do you mean you don't know how? You've been in MLMs before. You know how to recruit. You know how to do all that shit. And you didn't have to start over because you brought over your own downline, basically. Oh, my Lord. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to say yes. And now nearly 30,000 people are actively building in the empire in 28 countries. We have over... 1 million customers in less than four years. I'm holding on to that because my anniversary is in a couple of days. In less it might seem like that, but she's omitting that she allegedly, from what I've been told by people who used to be under her and are still under her, and they will deny it if they are asked by the FTC or by Prove It or anything, instead of ordering their own like trials through their own account, they create a ghost account under like a spouse's name or under a friend's name or something and have like a different card that's not associated with like their account technically. Um, so they do that. And that is why it looks like they have so many customers. So think about it. Who? <laughs> and they're like, have you ever seen someone who is not involved in Prove It drink Prove It products? Someone who isn't profiting off of it use that? I'll wait. I will wait. <laughs> no, you haven't. It's in a couple of days. In less than four years, we have 140 car earners. In less than four years. We have countless. I mean thousands, by the way. 140 car earners out of, what'd you say, 30,000? That's not good. That's not a lot. You would think it would be at least 1,000. Yikes, that's embarrassing thousands of people who earned that $500 cash bonus that Kayla's talking about. Thousands. So if somebody tells you you can't do it or that 1% wins, they're mathematically incorrect. Not here. Not on this team. <laughs> what? She's saying that you're mathematically incorrect. No, because you just said that there's like, what, a hundred and whatever, not even 200 people on your specific team who are at the rank where you get the car bonus. Okay, so that's that's less than 1%. That's like half of a percent. And I'm not saying you can't 
make any money. But realistically, you even at that level, you could still be losing money. There's someone who was directly, directly under her for years. Her name's Erin Bies. She's amazing. I She's linked down below and I will have her Prove It Deep Dive linked down below too. And her video about Jessie Lee linked down below too because she is amazing and I love Erin. She exposes everything. Erin only profited about $10,000 last year and Prove It. She was at one of the top levels. So if she was at one of the top levels, only profiting about $10,000 and spending so much fucking money, wouldn't, wouldn't you say that that's losing. It's not, oh, well, even if you make $1 or, e oh, well, even if you make $100, you're still winning. Well, no, because you're buying trials. So therefore you're losing money. Girl, you, you don't, we're not mathematically incorrect. You just don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And you're having a whole nother conversation and you're a cult leader. In my opinion, you fit the characteristics of it. That all of you spent the last 40 minutes with us. I'm so thankful that you gave us your time. I know you could really do anything that you wanted and you were here with us tonight. And I really look forward to connecting and to getting to know all of you because if you know anything about this team, I freak everybody out at every event. I know you. The big leader. Oh, I know you. I know your face. I know your partners. I know your children. I know all of it. I know all of it. That's creepy so as fuck. plug in. Do the systems. Get the help. Get the support. Don't hide behind your computer screen and behind your cell phone. Get in and let the empire inside you. Huh. I'm inside for all of you. Bitch, I don't want you inside me. Get out. Guys, I told you. She's trying to hump me. <laughs> Jesse, I don't want to make out with you. God. So I'm excited for all of you. Thank you, Kayla, again for being here tonight. Uh, you're incredible. I'm so proud of you. And I cannot wait to spend the next 48 minutes with all of you on our Latino call. God bless y'all. Please get back to whoever invited you to this call and we will chat again soon. Good night. That, um, that was extremely unfortunate and I'm upset about it, but it's okay. Um, anyways, yeah, that, that fucking sucked. <laughs> Ugh. So that's extremely culty. Please, 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 please don't fall for that. Please understand that you are better than that. And if someone's promising you everything and that everything in your life is going to change and that they can solve all of your issues by you signing up for an opportunity where they make money off of you, hard stop right there. No cap, all facts, period. I'm speaking Gen Z. That's what the kids say, right? And just stop. That's not, no. They're taking advantage of you and they are going to say anything to try to get you to sign up and to stay in because they only make money if they get you to sign up and if they get you to stay. Anyways, don't you dare leave this video without subscribing. Almost to 50,000. I'm actually like 18. 18 subscribers away from 50,000, I think. Let me check. I literally like, ha, I have it up and I've had it up all day. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. That's scary. Yeah. I was, I was 19,000 away and now I'm, I'm 15,000 or not 19,000. What the fuck? I'm uh, 15 subscribers away from 50,000. By the time I post this video, I will have already hit 50,000. And I just, I know I say it all the time, but I appreciate you way more than you could ever know. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. You are valuable. Your feelings are valid. What you're going through right now, last year was crazy, but I feel like this year is like kind of even crazier because we're in this like weird limbo state, but which is basically Florida. <laughs> Um, but what you're going through right now is temporary, okay? It's not going to last forever. Seems like it's going to, but it won't. And you're amazing and you're beautiful. Did you do something new to your hair? It looks hot. Anyways, have a wonderful day, night, weekend whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in my next video. Go listen to the podcast. It's hilarious. If you have any suggestions for videos that I should do or any suggestions for suggestions, if you have any suggestions for topics for podcast episodes, leave them down below. Make sure you're subscribed to that channel too. And I will see y'all in my next one, which will most likely be tomorrow or the next day. Who knows? Okay, bye.